Quite recently, I've been having a lot of fun with the Roland MC101 Groove Box. I don't get much time here in the shop, so taking things home in the evening and at weekends. And this is small, portable, and battery powered. Absolutely ideal. In that regard, I've been reworking, remaking a load of old school tunes, quite a few projects on the go. What I'm going to do is expand upon those, move it across to the bigger brother, the MC707. Simple fact that we've got eight tracks as opposed to four, and a lot more knobs for controlling the fax parameters and various other things on a power track basis. So all is good there, and as, as much as this is bigger than that, it's still portable, but my problem is the power, after I've done all the cable tidying, is all run down here and through there. I'm not even going near that. So, solution, ban or plug. Rather than just get a standard power supply for that, because it's proprietary, so instead, I went to the MyVolts website, they do a lot of real cool stuff if you're into your synths, go check it out if you're not familiar with them already. Cables and all sorts of adapters and accessories. And I'll pick these things up here, so we'll look at that in a second. What I have here is a power supply for the MC707. And there is the barrel end, goes into the unit itself. And then it converts that down to USB, allowing you to use a power bank. And that one there is cheap and cheerful off their site. I have one that's a lot more powerful and would last a lot longer. This is still portable, but that's much smaller. It's capable of charging the MC707 for a good few hours, so that's great. Now what I can do is take the MC707 out on location and do some live sets on the groove box itself without the need for electricity. And when I'm at home, I can just plug that in the same plug I'd use from my iPhone or the adapters I've got in the house, you know, your plug sockets has got the USB ports on them as well. Job done. Looking forward to getting the MC707 home over the weekend here, cracking on with those projects, putting it all together, and yeah, nice big extended live performance old school set thing coming pretty soon, so keep an eye on the pages for that. 